Big news this morning from Eli Lilly. Zepbound has won in the battle of obesity drugs over Wagovi. Hi, I'm Christopher Durham, and welcome to The Downsized. For those of you new to our channel, Lorraine and I are sharing our adventure with GLP-1s to treat our disease of obesity. Together, we've lost over 130 pounds. Personally, I have lost 86 pounds since I began using Zepbound, Manjaro, and compounded terzepatide, all of which are, of course, GLP-1s. I began the journey with Lorraine last September, and this life-changing progress motivates me to bring you the latest weight loss treatments, research, news, opinions, insights, and sometimes just us rambling. Before we start, here's a quick reminder. I am not a doctor and nothing here is medical advice. Please consult your healthcare provider if you're considering starting GLP-1s or any other treatment. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss our updates. Today, we're looking at the groundbreaking Surmount 5 trial, the first head-to-head -head comparison between two blockbuster weight loss drugs, Eli Lilly Zepbound and Novo Nordis Wagovi. Let's dig into the details. The Surmount 5 trial was designed to evaluate the efficacy and safety of Zepbound. And yes, this is all funded by Lilly. We'll talk a little bit about it, but it should be reputable research. So of course, it was designed to evaluate the efficacy and safety of Zepbound compared to Wagovi in adults with obesity or overweight with at least one weight-related condition like hypertension, dyslipidemia, obstructive sleep apnea, or cardiovascular disease. The phase 3B trial included 751 participants across the United States and Puerto Rico. It was randomized with participants divided into two groups, one receiving Zepbound at their maximum tolerated dose, either 10 milligrams or 15 milligrams, and the other receiving Wagovi at 1.7 milligrams or 2.4 milligrams, which would also be their maximum tolerated dose. The trial's primary objective was clear to demonstrate Zepbound's superiority in the percent change in body weight from baseline over 72 weeks. And boy, let me tell you, it delivered. Here's the headline. Zepbound users lost an average of 20.2% of their body weight, around 50 pounds, while Wagovi users lost 13.7% or about 33 pounds. Now, the numbers have been pretty clear all along, but this research just reaffirms what we've known. Additionally, 31.6% of Zepbound users achieved at least a 25% reduction in their body weight, compared to 16.1% of Wagovi users. The trial confirmed what earlier studies suggested. Zepbound's dual GIP and GLP-1 receptor mechanism delivers superior results compared to Wagovi's GLP-1-only approach. Importantly, both drugs had similar safety profiles with side effects, primarily gastrointestinal and mild to moderate in severity. So, I mean, we all know the conversations if we've tracked along on Facebook or in a Reddit group, constipation, diarrhea, nausea, you name it, they're out there. No further statement was really made about those. Hopefully we'll see some more out of the study later this year. The study doesn't just impact patients. It's a game changer in the pharmaceutical market. Novo Nordisk has long dominated the obesity medication space with Wagovi and Ozempic, but this trial gives Lilly a significant opportunity to catch up. We're talking about the fastest growing corner of the pharmaceutical industry with a projected market value of $130 billion by 2030. Studies like these are critical for companies looking to position their products as superior alternatives and critical for patients looking to get the most bang for their buck out of the medication. Right? We want what works best. So what makes Zepbound stand out? It's the first FDA approved medication to combine the activation of both GIP and GLP-1 receptors. These receptors play a crucial role in appetite regulation and calorie reduction, not to mention they help diminish food noise. By targeting both, Zepbound achieves greater weight loss than Wagovi's GLP-1 only mechanism. This stool action makes it a leader in obesity treatment. For patients, this means more options and better results. For those of us battling the disease of obesity, it's not just about weight. It's about improving our overall health and quality of life. GLP-1s like Zepbound have been life-changing for me, and these results reinforce the hope that they offer to millions of others. But remember, every treatment plan should be tailored to your individual needs, so always consult your doctor. This, of course, is our before and after pictures. My wife, Lorraine, and I on two different cruises a year apart, really. So 
we're both down. I think she's down a little more than 50 pounds there. And I'm down a little more than 80 pounds there. These medications have worked wildly for us. So what's next for Zepbound? Well, Lily plans to publish the full results in a peer-reviewed journal and present them at a medical meeting next year. And of course, we'll be covering that. The more research we have, the better we are as patients, the more insights, the more knowledge, the better we can work with our physicians to take care of our health and treat our disease. If you found this information helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with someone who might need it. And of course, join us tonight for the Downsize Live, where Lorraine and I will take your questions, talk to the community, and just generally have a great time talking to the community that is the Downsized. Thank you for watching. I'm Christopher Durham, and we are the Downsized.